Hydro Cal has been done by this. Um, I know we live in an era where a lot of players uh, opt out of the bowl game as we prepare for the NFL draft. What do you think about your decision wanting to play this last game in the summer? Uh, I'm just taking the opportunity and the uh, taking advantage of what I still have while I have it. Um, is this? I don't see a reason for me not to play. Uh, it's just uh, also it's one of those uh, deals where I feel like it'll still it'll help me with the process after I leave from here. So um, also I just want to continue playing with the guys that I've been playing next to all season. Michelle. Michelle Garner, Arizona. Tyler, when you look back this year, did you accomplish everything personally that you wanted to uh, actually, no, I didn't. But I can still look back at the season and say that I did. I tried my best and that I had a great group of guys on the defensive side that always held me accountable, that we always did stuff together. We always fought throughout the games, whether we were down or up. And I was very, after the season when I self-reflected, like I said, I didn't reach my personal goals, but I, I, I'm, still, uh, I'm still okay with how it ended. And then Tyler, I mean, kind of picking back off that, obviously a lot of guys in and out of the lineup from the beginning of the season on. Overall, how do you feel that you as a leader helped the defense adjust? I just, it's one of those just doing my job. Just uh, whenever you do your job or whenever I make a big play, uh, a lot of guys on defense feed off of it. I, I can tell because sometimes I'll be on the sideline and they'll look at me, especially TJ. TJ will look at me, he's like, I need a, I need a Johnson play. I need you to get a Tyler Johnson play. And so just uh, being able to uh, do that for my teammates and knowing that I play a big part in, uh, you know, potentially winning games or winning that drive or the series uh, definitely was a, it was a good feeling. Tyler, have you taken a look at Wisconsin and any sort of thoughts about the matchup? Uh, yes, I have taken a few looks. The matchups will be very good can, from Pac-12 to Big Ten. Uh, it'll be a very physical game, for sure. Uh, kind of just, we haven't had a chance to talk to you since the whole Pac-12 um, teams were announced. First team, uh, just were you surprised by that? Proud? Were yeah, I was. So I actually was, uh, I think, where was I? I think I was at my junior high, helping out with the PE class, just talking with them, uh, some of the students and the kids. and. I looked at my phone and it said that I had it. I got, I made first team, and I was, I wasn't looking for that. I didn't expect it. It was, uh, it was awesome, but also knowing that that accomplishment, it's not just a personal achievement. It's definitely the whole D line and defensive and the team, it's a team achievement. Tyler, talk about what you were doing at the Oh, just talking with the kids, just letting them know that you know grades are grades are important. Where if you want to get to where I was, and where I'm at, and um, helping out with the class as far as the activities they were doing. Just a lot of them had a lot of questions about uh, being older, I guess you could say, <laughs> being older, the what to expect in high school and college, and if I do go play somewhere, and like, what can I expect? And I just kept it real with them the whole time. Uh, can you talk about what Coach Rodriguez has worked with you most on, kind of getting you ready to you know, go to the next level, what he is focused on with you? Uh, one of the things we focused on uh, this past season a lot was uh, my footwork, placing my feet where they need to be, and also my hands where they need to be. And he, you know, I, uh, I thank him a lot for letting the other stuff that I do naturally just come along with that instead of trying to change a lot about you know, how, how I do certain things. Um, he definitely worked with me in a way where he took what I can do naturally and added some of the stuff that he coaches into my into my playing style, and it made me a, a much much better player. I was building off of what you were saying earlier about uh, your messages to the kids. What what would be your message to a younger version of you, personally, like maybe even coming into ASU or the other freshmen, uh, you know, coming in? What do you tell those guys? You, it's, it's time to grow up. It's time to grow up, and I've talked about it in the past. Um, I wish I knew not exactly what I was getting myself into, but more of uh, how it would play out as far as if I knew pushing myself the extra step, the extra mile. If I knew that earlier in my college career, I think my outcome would have been 
drastically different. Um, like I said, I had to learn a few things about myself over the years and figure myself out, which I'm glad to say I have, and I'm, I'm, and I'm blessed to be able to say that now. And that way I can move on and feel confident in a lot of things that I do. So kids growing up and kids coming in now or high school, whatever, my younger self, I definitely probably tell myself to, you gotta figure it out quicker. Um, also, you know, it's, that's a tough question. Yeah, I'll probably, yeah, probably tell myself to hunker down and just focus a lot better. When you came to ASU, college sports was completely different than where it is today. Um, now there are NIL opportunities. Do you think it's in a better place? And where does college sports and still need to, where, there, where is there still business? <laughs> I'm not sure if Coach Herm will get fined or <laughs> if I'll take the force of it. Um, why can I put this? Some stuff, a lot of stuff does have to change as far as how the games are being played. Um, safety, a lot of, a lot of things. Uh, safety, I think football is definitely getting a lot softer in college. Um, I was watching some of the high school games on Saturday and they were hitting and they were hitting and hitting and saw a couple targetings. None of them got called and those kids popped right back up and they got on to the next play. And it's just, you don't really see that anymore because of the rules nowadays and it just seems like football is just getting away from us. But um, yeah, I'll probably, yeah, I must, I gotta keep the other stuff to myself. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I can say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My younger self would have said it with no problem. <laughs> for sure, really, for sure. You thought the high school game was more, you thought the high school game was more physical than what you've experienced. Uh, well, you know, don't get me wrong. There's in college, college. There's some hitting in college, but just that's what kind of stuck out to me when I was watching those games and noticing that none of those calls were getting called. So, I mean, it's. Hopefully it can change, but until then, got to play by the rules between the lines, between the whistles.